Hello and welcome to the second video tutorial for Mac Journal 6 by Mariner Software. In this tutorial, we'll take a quick tour, learn how to customize the toolbar, learn how to create new documents, journals, and journal entries. Let's get started. Mac Journal is comprised of several areas. The menu bar provides drop down lists of actions you can perform based on what you're doing in the software at the time. The toolbar provides a set of buttons you can use instead of the menu bar. You can customize the toolbar. From the View menu, choose Customize Toolbar. Drag and drop the buttons you'd like to include on the toolbar and then click on the Done button. There is a default set of buttons across the top. The first button allows you to create a new journal entry. The next button allows you to send the selected journal or journal entry to the trash. The next two buttons are the font and the font color buttons. The button next to the font color button allows you to spell check your entry. The info button hides and displays the inspector area. The focused editing area allows you to write your journal entry distraction free. To exit focused editing, click on the exit button to the left or press your escape key. The last set of buttons allow you to switch between various views. They are the entry view, the Timeline view, and the Calendar view. Each of the views displays a list of the journal entries made on a particular day. The sidebar provides a list of all the journals and entries within the Mac Journal document. You can view or hide the sidebar from the View menu and select the appropriate action. Let's take a look at the bottom of the sidebar for a moment. The Add button allows you to quickly add a journal entry. Clicking on the gear button produces a quick list of functions you can choose from depending on what you're currently doing in the software. The calendar allows you to quickly add new journal entries. Clicking on a date automatically creates a new entry for that particular date. The calendar can be toggled on and off by clicking the calendar button down at the bottom of the sidebar. The next button allows you to change the journal navigation based on the properties you've defined for your journal and journal entries. The Entries pane displays a list of the entries associated with the journal. The Information bar contains information about the currently selected journal and entry. Customizing the Information bar is easy. From the View menu, choose Customize Info bar. Next, click on the Add button to add other properties. When you're done customizing the Information bar, click OK. The Main area displays the contents of the currently displayed area. To add a ruler which incorporates various word processing elements, from the View menu, choose Show Ruler. The Inspector, which you can toggle on and off, shows you a list of the properties of the currently selected document, journal, or entry. We'll cover more information about that in the next tutorial. The status bar at the bottom provides various information about the current journal entry. You can hide the bar by selecting Hide Status Bar from the View menu. Mac Journal is organized into journals and entries. You can have as many journals as you like, and you can also have journals within journals. Now, journals are like books, and entries are the pages within the book. You can store all sorts of information in the entries, including text, graphics, links to sites, individual web pages, sound files, and video files. While Mac Journal can be used for blogging, you can also use Mac Journal to store other types of information such as medical records, flight itineraries, homework assignments, and project management information. You can be a teacher who stores your classroom assignments or an athlete that records their workout routines and diet information. You can also be a parent who stores immunization and hospital records for each member of your family. Mac Journal is extremely versatile. Use your imagination to come up with a solution that is best for you. To create a new Mac Journal document in which to store your journals, from the File menu, choose New Document. Now, from the File menu, choose Save As, give your new document a name, specify a location, and then finally, click the Save button. Now to create a new journal, from the File menu at the top or from the Quick menu at the bottom, select New Journal. Give your journal a name, Specify the location of the journal, and then click on the Create button. 
To create a new journal entry, from the file menu at the top, choose New Entry. Enter any relevant information in the info bar and then start creating your entry. Keep in mind you can also add a new entry from the quick menu located at the bottom of the sidebar. To delete journals or journal entries, first highlight the journal or journal entry you'd like to delete and then either press your delete key on your keyboard or from the edit menu, choose delete. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, consult the user guide, email us with any questions you have, or contact us via the forums. We're happy to help. For now though, Share your thoughts with the world today.